Assalamu alaikum. Today I am going to talk about a brief history of inflation. But before I'm going to start, I have a question for you. Why have a majority of men started loving their own wives nowadays? Because inflation and financial crisis? Well, it is a part of joke. So the inflation rate in India between 1958 and today has been a 9,098.91%, which translates into a total increase of 9,098.91. This means that 100 rupees back in 1958 are equivalent to 9,198 rupees in 2023. So let me explain it to you from another example. If you did not understand this. Suppose today you buy something worth rupees 80, it would have cost one rupees back in 1958. This is because of inflation. Are you getting my point? So what is inflation? Inflation is the rate of increase in the prices over a given period of time. I know so many questions come in your mind. Why does inflation occur? What is the reason behind this? So we will talk about all of this in this video where I shall elaborate inflation to you. So let's get started. First of all, a very important question, why does inflation occur? So there are ample of reason for the inflation, but I would like to discuss three main reasons for the inflation in the video. The first and most important reason is an economic boom, means a good economic growth. When the good economic growth, then there is a more money in the hand of the people who can spend it on a different item and the demand for everything would go up in the economy. The demand goes up in the economy, the business and company manufacture this product, they seek to increase in the price in a bit to earn a more profit because so many people are willing to buy so that they can increase in the price of the good which leads to inflation in the economy. And this type of inflation is called demand pull inflation. The second important reason is to increase in the price of the raw material due to some different reasons. For example, if the price of the rice or wheat rises or a new tax levied by the government which leads to increase in the price of the raw material. And this type of inflation is called cost push inflation. The cost push inflation is a consist of increasing in the price of raw material, labor, wages, etc. Last but not the least, currency depreciation. Currency depreciations can happen due to several different reasons, out of which one of the most important reasons is to printing more money by the government, which leads to inflation in the economy or which leads to currency losing its value in a such a rapid pace. And this is very dicey decision taken by the government because it could have potential to trigger the hyperinflation in the economy, which was happened in Zimbabwe in 2008. You know, the Zimbabwean currency losing its value such a rapid pace and the government began to start printing 1 million, 1 billion and 1 trillion Zimbabwean dollar. Do you know that what is the value of that 1 trillion Zimbabwean dollar was? Any guess, any idea? just one USD dollar. So to this extent, which money can lose its value in case of hyperinflation? So before gonna wind up, I have a, another question for you. So what is the current inflation rate in India? Let me know in the comment section. And if you wanna more videos, do like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the bell icon for the latest video. Thank you for watching.